Think of DevOps as a bike assembly line. There is a team whose job is to make engine. Consider them as developers. Then there is another team whose job is to assemble all the parts of the bike together on the bike chassis. Consider them as the operation guys. So there must be a coordination between the developers, the guys who are making the engine and the operation guys, the guys who are assembling the bike. The developers need to make sure or the guys or the team who is making the engine, they have to make sure that the dimensions of the engine and everything must be like that, that it should fit into the bike chassis. Otherwise, it's of no use if it doesn't fit into the chassis. So there must be a coordination between the developers and the operations team. In the same manner, different teams will be there. Some are, uh, some team or will be involved in making the disc brakes. So the team who is making the disc brake has to make sure that the disc brake properly fits onto the disc that might be created by a different team. That is the idea behind the DevOps. So once the bike is being created by the developers uh, who has created the engine and like the operation guys who have assembled all together, the product is into the market, the final product. But once the bike is available in the market, it, things won't stop there. The developers will keep on enhancing the engine. They will be, the, uh, that is what they are paid of. Uh, they will be adding new features into the engine. But whatever new feature they add into the engine, that will not be instantly added into the production bike and will be available in the market. No, things won't work like this. So that feature will be going through a lot of tests. Once the tests are successful, then the company will add that feature into the bike, which is ready for the production or the production model, as we say. That means it's a continuous process. The developers will keep on adding new feature to enhance the bike that will go through a lot of testing and once the testing is successful that feature should be added into the production model so if this process is happening continuously so ci is the part continuous integration is the part where the team is continuously adding more features continuously integrating more features into the bike to make the bike much better that is the ci part so a lot of team might be coordinating together, sharing a lot of thought process. And then once they agree on it, they go with a particular feature that let's make this feature. But once this feature is done, then they go through a lot of testing. Once the testing is over, then it will be ready. Now, if this process is streamlined, CI is that part where they integrate new features. What is the CD? CD in DevOps is continuous deployment. Deployment means when a new feature is integrated, right? It has gone through test, like in the software case, we use Jenkins to test the code. We use the GitHub. First, initially we use the GitHub to share the things, share the thought. Once we agree, we, we uh, merge it into the master and then we create that uh, piece of code one then it goes through the testing using the Jenkins and then if the tests are good that feature will be added into the bike or into our application so if this is doing automatically means new features added tested and then available in the production model if this is being happening without any human interference we call it deployment continuous deployment there is another meaning of CD, which is continuous delivery. Delivery means the process integration, testing, and then adding that feature into the production bike is not fully automated. There is a human interference there. Let's say uh, like Harley has introduced a very good feature into or a very good engine uh, 
or a new feature is being integrated into the bike. But if we add that uh, feature into the production bikes, that might increase the cost. So there might be a human interference involved or a management interference involved that shall we do it right now as it was happening in case of deployment or shall we wait for some time. So if the new features are not instantly added, the company is waiting for a certain uh, a time period before we add them manually, we call it delivery. There is a subtle difference between the CD of deployment and CD of delivery. CD of deployment means features are continuously added into the production servers without any, any hum, uh, human interference and every new feature will be added. Every new feature will be added. Whereas in case of delivery, that means we, we will wait for a couple of days or might be months, let all the features combine and then we roll it into a one block. That is the uh, delivery part of the CI CD. So I hope you are able to understand the DevOps with a bike example.